I think many of you already faced this issue while trying to export the large area of interest in Google Earth Engine. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to solve this issue and download the large area of interest imagery from your own requirement. So let's get started. In order to download the large area of interest imagery, I'm going to use GDIM and GMAP package and thanks to the uh, writer and contributor of these two packages. And for that, I have prepared my area of interest, uh, which is near Kathmandu. And I created the like a polygon file and I already downloaded this file as a shape file. And after that, I already upload this file in the Google Colab, which is the polygon.shp. And within this notebook, I'm going to show you how you can download the large area of interest in Google Earth Engine. So in order to do that, first of all, is I show you, uh, you need to download the uh, packages, which is GEE DIM and then GE map. And for from now on i think the g map is already available in the uh, google collab so you don't need to like uh, download it so now you need to import those packages g dim and then import g map and also i might need to import the geo pandas a gpd uh, because i'm going to use this polygon polygon files is my area of interest okay and after that you need to in initialize the g map in order to initialize you can write g map dot i n i t i a l i j t initialize and okay g map has oh sorry uh it should be e e dot initialize yeah and after that, you need to click on this link and then uh, generate the token and just copy and paste that token in the notebook. Continue. Maybe select all and copy and then paste it here and then hit enter. Okay, after that, I'm going to load my polygon file. So GDF equal to gpd geopandas dot read file and then i'm going to read my file and for that i'm going to copy the path and then paste it here and then if i say gdf dot head then uh, my polygon will look like this and after that if you want to plot it then you can simply write gdf dot plot so it's simply the rectangular polygon and these are the like uh, latitude and longitude value okay so after that we need to convert this geo data frame into the ee uh, polygon so for that so ee uh, aoi equal to we can write ge map dot geo pandas to ee and then i can provide gdf and uh, you can try to print it as well so yeah this is my eeoi object which is the earth engine like object here this geo pandas dot e to e will convert your geo pandas data frame into the ee object then you can directly use this ee aoi object uh, in the uh, google earth engine code all right so now you need to define some parameters so let me copy and paste the code so for that we are going to use the image collection is landset uh, 8 and then it should be level 2 and collection to entire one imagery which is the like same name is this one of course you can replace by your own imagery if you like to download another one for example if you want sentinel 2 then replace this by sentinel 2 and then these are the start date and end date is we defined over here so these and also we try to download the 
cloud coverage less than 20% and scale of course it's Lancet so it's 30 meter and then uh, data type is for 32 and then CRS is EPSC 4326 which is the geographic coordinate system all right so let me copy and paste uh, another line of code and then i'll explain so first of all i imported ee package which is uh, the python api uh, for earth engine and i uh, filter my image collection with the like uh, landsat uh, 8 data set and then i filter my date is start date and then the end date which is 2020 starting from jan 1 to december 31 and then i filter my bound with ee dash aoi that means uh, just for that rectangular bound and then i also filter it by cloud pixel percentage which is less than 20% and i take the median value and i also selected the 432 band if you check the uh, this imagery description so their bands are like represented by esr b1 esr b2 esr b3 and so on so i am selecting like b432 that means rgb and if you are interested for the other bands then you can definitely like update those bands and then i clip my area of interest and if i hit run so it will update my data set and now the another thing is like we need to download this data set now it's time to like download this data set in order to download it so you can write g dot download ee image and uh, you need to like add the data set which you want to download and then scale of the data set and file name of course i'm downloading it inside the content and uh, named is landsat 8 ktm which is kathmandu.tif and data type fluid and eeoi.geometry and crs is uh, of course it's geographic coordinate system and of course you can update it and if you hit run so it should download it but i got an strange error sr before is not matched all right sorry i got what went wrong here so the thing is uh for the lancet imagery uh, there is no properties at cloudy pixel percentage if we check the uh like image properties there is no such like property so instead we need to use the cloud cover which is over here and then uh, if we update it by the cloud cover then it should work so yeah it uh, now start downloading the ktm uh, landsat 8 imagery which is around 19.4 mb raw file and whenever it start download and finish download then we'll see the output over here so for that maybe i need to refresh it and then this is my file and then simply i can download it and then load it in the qgis or any gis software all right so if i load it over here so yeah this is my imagery we can see a little bit of cloud since i put uh, the cloud less than 20 percent but if you don't want cloud then make sure to put it uh, very low and yeah so in this way you can simply download the like sentinel or uh, the landsat imagery of your area of interest and of course there will be no such error messages uh, related to like uh, your uh, area of interest or the size is big so you can download or oh, whatever size you want and however like big area you want so yeah I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy it hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching